Just rolling into Drumlick Castle for day two. It's going over the River Niff. Beautiful river. Pull up here, there's a fisherman here. Getting ready to rock and roll. Well, I've got a, the beautiful uh, Drumlandrick Castle at the back of me and I've got the most magnificent view of the hills in front of me. But the only way that people like me get to, uh, to see these places years gone by would be uh, with a catapult. And I don't mean a catapult that fires marbles, you know, I mean a catapult that fires boulders. <laughs> that's, that's the only way we'd be allowed on this on this estate. I just, just noticed while we, when we come in the gun room, there's, a, there's various stag's heads and dated, some 1878, 1875, and uh, I was hoping you might better shed a bit of light on them, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> they, will, they will be for your time, obviously. Are they, are they being killed? Just... <laughs> are they being shot by visiting dignitaries, or do you think? No, that would be the family. That, Is the it? family would yeah. shoot them all out. Yeah. You can see the actual names Montague Wood. Montague Wood. Ah, oh, that's right. the big. See the back of the castle? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the big wood up, that, up round there. Right. So they've obviously come out of there. So it's, it's a record of where they've been shot. Uh huh. It's and only the, the, the date. Well. The, uh, is, that, is that the weight of them? 12. Yeah. It will be, yeah. Is that 12? Aye, that's what weight. 12, 12 stone, stone 10. 10. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, here we go, on our way to the first drive. The massive Campbell Clues, big range of hills, well, more like semi mountains when you get beneath them. When you get at the foot of them, you see those little birds come off there. A little bit better weather than yesterday, so wind's still quite strong up there, but it uh, looks a better flying day. First drive called Campy Clue, and uh, believe me, it's very, very daunting. I've seen uh, very, very few drives as high as this. You get a few in, in the uh, the Welsh mountains that are very similar, but uh, we'll see what we can do on here.
Yeah, we're just going to start the return uh, drive now off Camel and Clue. When you think about these parties here, Duncan, you get them on that wind, they're unbelievable, aren't they? Extreme. They're all, almost wild, aren't they, where they, they come off these tops? But uh, dread to think what they'll be like in January. <laughs> it's top of the range Here's shooting. In front. Oh, that got in. Good cross there. We're on the, uh, the third drive at uh, Drumland, called the Dam. No doubt that uh, there were some serious parties off this hill as well. I've not shot this one before, so it'll be a uh, pleasant surprise and experience, no doubt. Right, I've just finished the dam and what a fantastic drive. I don't know how Rab got them to fly like that because the wind dropped a little bit. They came out pretty steady for the first few minutes and then suddenly went sky high and we finished up with some really good uh, tall birds and some fantastic crosses. If you want to really test yourself, this is a place to be. Really hard working team of lads as well. Everybody knows what they're doing. There's nobody in the way. Everything runs TikTok. Very happy. We're at the infamous Scud Law now. 
And I see some really uh, strong stuff here. We just had a couple of shots at some uh, from halfway up. They were between 60 and 70 yard up. And you're going to get some, when they come off the top, they'll be anything from 70 yard to 100 yard. And some above that. But we'll just try and pick his way through them. I mean, this is one of the most fantastic shooting arenas in the world, you know, and I can only stress to people, if they want to come here, you know, be prepared. Uh -huh. It ain't an easy man shoot, no. you know. No. I know you've got drives that'll suit all parties. Uh -huh. yeah. But if people want to shoot the extreme stuff, this is a place to be, yeah, thanks especially, much, especially on the parties. Uh -huh. I'm hoping to come up and shoot your pheasant uh, I will. In, um, in the next couple of months. Uh -huh. You know, when you get ready, give us a shout. You're we'll... disappointed with them neither, don't you? No, I've heard so, so yeah. Well, so. Well, anyway, so thank... a pleasure. thanks very much for a wonderful pleasure day. Having Love pleasure having you for Thank days. you, Rob. We've been finished now 20 minutes and we've uh, let everybody go just to, to show that um, how much these people clean up after them. These dog uh, men and women, they'll be here probably another half hour to an hour making sure nothing's missed. That's the, the ethical part of shooting. It's all about conservation as well. It's not just about shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, we do enjoy the day, but we enjoy the wilderness, the beauty of uh, this countryside that we've got here. And this countryside only exists through shooting sports and other country sports. They all support one another. It would be a very, very sad day if we ever lost this way of life. So bear it in mind, you know, if you're asked to support any of the agencies, please lend your support because it's, believe me, everything that's raised by club memberships is done so to fight the good fight. Well, what a fantastic two days at Drumland Rig. Thanks to Rab and his wonderful team of supporters. I would also like to thank Roxton's for having us and organising some fantastic sport. On the dam sequence, I shot some enormous crosses. Unfortunately, only two were visibly in camera range. It just goes to show how difficult it is to film these extreme birds, as well as shoot them. I do hope you enjoy what you see. If there is anything else you could think could promote our wonderful sport, Please do not hesitate to contact us.